Hi, I'm Herbie Fletcher, and I want to tell you a little bit about Pox. Pox came out of South Africa in the early 80s, and he was radical, fresh, young. Surfing was changing in the early 80s. The boards were getting shorter, faster, and more radical. Kids always change the future. Potts was right there. Potts took what he'd learned from all the top pros and put a new twist on it. A new approach with style. Hard to find Potts on the North Shore, but he always hung out at the Jerry Lopez house at Pipeline, which I was part owner in. And it was a great time. Here's Potts at Off the Wall, Back Door, and Pipeline. So they say, I was just down there the other day. This guy gave me a high sign, sort of like that. I guess I supposed to know, baby, where it was at. I was lost at Leilani's. I was lost at Leilani's. I was lost at Leilani's. But I found myself in Mitch's baby. Everything was all right. All right. There's a slinky black dress sitting at the bar. When I was growing up, oh man, yeah, Wave Warriors 1 through 4, they were all my favorites. And uh, guys like Potts, who was my favorite server to this day, you know, Archie, um, those guys are just my heroes, you know. You don't really have to even say his whole name. Just call him Potts. 1989 world champion and one of the most radical and innovative surfers ever to pick up a board. That's what people want to see. They want to see spectacular moves. They want to see guys doing things that, that, that no one's done before and uh, you know if it doesn't go that way it's going to get real boring. Everything you do on a wave, you know, is basically calculated, and you've got to know exactly the right time and the right place for it. And whether you know whether it's a small wave or a big wave, you know, it's that wave is capable of of um, letting you do that maneuver.
Well, the Wave Warriors, um, being involved with it or being a part of it to me was being a, being a part of the best team in the world. Um, you know, I constantly look back at the posters and the, and the pictures of the ads and stuff and go, you know, that, that's the best team you, you're ever going to get, you know. And, uh, but it took, a, it took a unique person to bring all those kind of people together. It wasn't just the product, it was the, the person as well. And I think Herbie did a fantastic job in doing that, you know, rallying the troops, so to speak. And, um, you know, we all got behind you and the product and, and you did the same for us. And I think it was, it was a special era, you know. I don't think you could ever uh, compare it to anything that's going on these days. I think um, that feeling, that vibe of just being, even on the videos, you know, um, People today, still to this day, speak to me about Wave Warriors 3, the one at Trestle. Um, you know, saying that that surfing in that period of time was as good as anything up today, you know, and um, I'm glad it's on bloody video. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, you know, like I said, Herb, it was, a, it was an era that I think is priceless. I mean, you can't put a price on that kind of stuff, and, and as far as I'm concerned, it was, I was part of the, the, the fucking most awesome team on the planet.